was announced on 30th of May with an invitation to students from Kosovo Elementary and at promoting the EU goals on climate change and raising the awareness on the need for more responsible action. This year the Climate Diplomacy Week focuses on energy efficiency. I invite head of the EU office in Kosovo, EU special representative, Ambassador Natalia Wester and Angelika Beetz, the ambassador of Germany in Pristina, to say a few words. Thank you for your attention and once again, congratulations. Kosovo must follow the same path, given major challenges it faces in the environmental field. We stand ready to share our knowledge and have already established extensive climate policy cooperation with some of our key Kosovo partners. The EU pays a great attention to Kosovo's climate challenges and environmental protection needs. During the period 713, the EU has invested over 40 million euros in the environmental sector, including institutional building and infrastructure investments. Over 20 million euros have been spent on energy efficiency measures, including for 67 schools and three hospitals across Kosovo. In the period 1820, the EU is planning to invest further in improving services and infrastructure in this sector. I hope this support will make a difference in Kosovo. We want to help Kosovo cope with its environmental challenges. Throughout the winter, we received reports indicating an alarming level of air pollution at hazardous level. And then there is a problem of waste management, which is probably the worst in the region and is far from meeting the EU standards in this area. Across Kosovo, there are illegal dump sites besides roads and rivers which is a shame for a place such beautiful landscape as in Kosovo. I would like to point out that raising awareness among the people on climate and environmental challenges is equally important as the investment in infrastructure. Once the people decide that preservation of their nature is a top priority for them, the investment in infrastructure will have its full use. That is the purpose of Climate Diplomacy Week. Along with film screening, exhibitions, cleaning actions, roundtable discussions and other events, on this occasion I especially welcome the competition of climate change topics in Kosovo schools, kindly supported by German Embassy in Pristina. But also, especially in Kosovo, we have many opportunities to tackle climate change and make our own small contribution to save the earth for the next generations. The German government strives to support Kosovo in this through joint projects in the field of energy efficiency, promotion of renewable energy, support to enhance waste management in municipalities and financing of three waste treatment plants. Together, we have to make sure that the young people of today will not suffer from our choices tomorrow. Because of the importance of young people in the context of climate change, the German Embassy has started this competition, become the next junior climate diplomat. We ask students from primary schools to draw pictures on what climate change means to them. I was really impressed by the creativeness of these young people when drawing such a complex issue. We have selected a few drawings to show today and you can see them hanging on the wall next to the entrance. A jury from GM, the embassy selected the best three pictures and I'm happy uh, to say that we can uh, award three awards to the winners. Uh, I tell the names even though the students are not here today Antiola Kucci won first place. She's from prison and uh, attends the eighth grade. The second place goes to Diona Kelmendi. She's 14 years old and comes from Obilich. The third place goes to Ines Lopo, nine years old. All three of you have shown extraordinary talent in visualizing this complex issue. And then we have also asked youngsters from secondary schools to send us videos on the topic of climate change. Maybe, maybe just before we show the, the, the award from uh, the hands of the German ambassador now. Okay. Lira, and then screen on the video. 
the reward for the best video of this competition. Thank you. Which is I know what's happening. change and why is it important? Climate change as we know today is characterized by an abrupt increase in temperature. It is estimated to have gotten 1.2 Fahrenheit to 1.4 Fahrenheit warmer since the last century. 10 out of the last 13 years were the warmest years in history. 97% of the scientists agree that it's not caused by orbital variation but it's caused by human activity, meaning it's caused by me and you and all humans out there. Industrial evolution has got us a, very, a lot of resolution, abilities, and ad advancements. But it means we've increased our consumptions of natural resources, such as greenhouse gases, into the atmosphere.